It is 523 and continuing on with our series Homecoming where we're highlighting places around Northeast Ohio that are important to us and our families. For me, I chose to feature the Beaumont School where my daughter goes there. There's a culture of caring and concern for one another that's very palpable here. It's the distinct culture at Beaumont School that sets them apart from others. We all accept each other's differences and, and it's great and you just get to know a bunch of different people. It's a place where sisterhood thrives. And they say it over and over and over and you're like, oh my gosh, this has got to be a lie. But you come here and you get here and you're like, wow. Yeah. Like, you're really a part of it. An all-girls school where young women are empowered by learning since the very beginning. The teachings of the, the Ursuline nuns who built this place and created a community of women on the legacy of educating women and empowering women. So that is very alive and well. And for some young women, the lessons learned extend far beyond the classroom. Mary Kate owns Mary Cake's Delight a small bakery business. From balancing school extracurriculars and being a business owner, her most important lesson from Beaumont was time management. It's a 24 seven thing and I'm, my mom helps me out a lot, but, and my friends, they come over and help me bake some things. Well, I put school first, but I think it's definitely fun to have the job aspect and be a young entrepreneur. And for my own daughter, Jessica, she's become more extroverted during her Beaumont years. I don't think I was ever shy in the beginning, but I think Beaumont helped me to realize. And all of it comes back to the culture and community, making it such a special place. They say it's like a community and you fit right in, and you'll know if you fit right in. Something else here. We've empowered them to speak up for themselves and to um, advocate for the things that are important to them. And that's something that's not always easy. Do you want them to, to use that voice, um, even when it's something that maybe challenges you a little bit? I mean, we're all parents. Mm. There is nothing more satisfying, gratifying, watching your own child just soar. Yeah. And she, it, 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 the school for me is very special. Obviously, having grown up on the east side, my sister went to Beaumont. Mm -hmm. She still has her Beaumont friends mm -hmm. that they, you know, see each other all the time. And I'm seeing this happen with Jessica. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's, you know, baking with Mary Kate. Yeah. <laughs> and they are thriving and they're becoming such beautiful young women. And I just thought, you know, in, in a world where it's the bullying and everything that we deal with in life is so hard. And especially, I feel like kids nowadays mm -hmm. with with this and everything that has gone on with the pandemic, to watch how happy she is has been the most rewarding thing ever. It really has been. Had I been an East Sider, I would have probably <laughs> gone to Beaumont, but I went to the West Side equivalent, Magnificat, and you and I talked right. a lot when she was looking at schools, and I, I always said there was something about that all girls school that mm -hmm. just lets your personality and your confidence thrive because right. you don't have a certain element, the dating element, the boys around. Right. It, it, there is something very special about it that really, it, it, it's intangible. But they do like boys. Well, they do, yeah. <laughs> right. Of course. Right. They have their dances. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but. Uh, There's something special about a place like that. Yeah. You must be so proud. I am. Thanks for sharing I that am. with us. Well, thanks for listening. All right.